So what am I storing a wood pallet in the attic for, you might ask? Well, that's a pretty good question. That is the pallet that my California trimmer was delivered on last summer, and I'm going to recycle it to build some blocks to lift the California trimmer up just a little bit up off the ground to make it easier to do some maintenance and check the reel to bed knife with the old paper test. I mean, does that surprise you that <laughs> I'm reusing it and saving a little bit of money here on Budget Lawns to make my life a little bit easier in the lawn? So what am I talking about? Well, let's take a little look here at the old rear end of the California trimmer. We've got two wheels on it and the drive roller just ignore the fact that they are filthy right now from the scalp a couple weeks ago. We'll get that all cleaned up. But what I'm going to do is build a block to go up underneath each of one of these. That way it lifts it up a little bit so I can tilt it back. And it will just make my life a lot easier when it comes time to do some maintenance on it. Uh, I saw this on another YouTube channel, T Winnings. Go check his channel out. He's got a California trimmer and did it with some other wood blocks. Now he didn't use the pallet, but I'm gonna give this a whirl. The wood's not the best, but if anything, it'll get me by for now. And if it falls apart, then we can always go to the store and get some brand new stuff. So what tools are we going to use today? Well, look, I've never torn a wood pallet apart, so that's going to be an experience. How did I come up with a plan? Well, of course I watch YouTube videos. And here's the tools I'm gonna use. We're gonna start with a reciprocating saw. Uh, we need some eye protection somewhere in here. Yeah, there's that. I think we need a hammer. We need a ruler. Uh, let's get a pencil to make some markings. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Um, I don't have what I want for this application. I need a crowbar or something a little bit bigger, but we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. So let's get our biggest screwdriver and we've got our drill. And that should be all we need to get this thing torn apart. We're gonna try to recycle and save as much of this wood as possible. We'll get it torn apart, assembled back together. So we have a nifty little stand for our California trimmer. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, well, I'm getting a couple other things ready. I just, uh, you know, as always, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. If you're new here, I hope you'll come back more often. Give me a thumbs up and a comment down below if you like this video. It really does help a lot, but we need a table. So I watched a few ways on YouTube to take this thing apart, and I was going to go one or the other, and I asked my wife, I said, hey, do you want to save some of this? wood as much as possible for some crafts probably should have not asked her because her answer was yes and that will determine which technique i take but that's all right she loves doing little projects just like i do so who am i to deprive her of that all right, we're gonna put this thing together. An extension cord to get me over here. You know what? Let's not even plug that in until we're ready to use it. A little safety tip. But what I want to do here first is just try to get a little gap in between these top and bottom parts and the main two by four on the side. Because what we're gonna be using for this are the three two by fours, and we're just gonna try and save these for scrap material for any other projects. And this is where I would have liked to have had a crowbar or something a little bit stronger, but, but I think we'll make do with this. And we're just gonna go around each one and try to loosen them up and get a little gap in there. And it's not gonna take much. We got everything kind of popped loose a little bit here, and now we're just gonna slice right through the top and bottom pieces and the two by fours on the side, just right through here, going through the nails and all. Yeah, it looked easy on YouTube. We'll see how easy it is here in my garage.
that was pretty easy. <laughs> Let's do the rest of them. Oh my gosh <laughs> I'm gonna to switch hands like I had to take a break on that one because the middle boards not as easy as the outside ones my hand and arm are like <sighs> and I have to let those calm down but here we go so we've got our main two by fours that we're gonna use for the blocks for the trimmer and then we've got the rest of the scrap wood in the interest of time I am not going to bore you with trying to get these nails out of here. We're gonna leave it as is for now until we decide to do a project with it. So what would have made that a lot easier on the middle ones would have been having a longer blade on the saw. That proved to be more of a challenge than I thought. So note to self, longer blade next time because that one is now kind of bent but it won't stop us from accomplishing the goal at hand. So here's what we're gonna do with these three two by fours. We need five 12 inch long pieces. So I am just going to measure out a foot across all three of these, and then it will be time to cut. All right, so there we go. We're gonna get six 12 inch long pieces out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get those cut and then we'll take care of the rest. I had to stop halfway in there doing that and put a glove on. I was starting to get splinters on my hand. Better safe than sorry. So we've got our six 12 inch pieces cut. We are only going to need four of them. So I have picked the four best flattest ones. We'll save these other two just as extras. And this was the excess left on the ends. Now we're gonna use these three pieces to cut down into four three inch pieces. So I'm gonna get those measured off and cut, then I'll show you where those go next. Okay, so we're on to the last step of assembly. This is what I thought would be the easiest part, but I've gone ahead and done one of the two blocks eh, just to see how it was gonna go. Uh, you may remember these screws that I picked up at Lowe's when I went to go get the gift cards. Well, that's what we're using those for. So what I've done is I've attached two of the 12 inch two by fours. I've gone three screws right down the middle and then two at the bottom. And then it came time to put two of our four three inch pieces on top. Now that's where the challenge came in. I've been using a smaller drill bit to get a pilot hole in there. But still, this is just some fragile pallet wood. And no matter what I did on these smaller pieces, they just kept cracking. I was trying to get two screws in those. That way they would be a little bit more secure and not move on me. They just barely moved, but not much. But anyway, I finally got them on there with just one screw a piece. And we'll just let that ride for now. Look, we're not going for perfection on these. Using the reciprocating saw uh, is not easy to get straight edges. 
So what I have done is I just marked right here and right here three inches in from each end because I know I need six inches in the middle for the wheels of the California trimmer to fall down into. And look, as long as these things are pieced together, they are going to work. No, it's not beautiful. No, it's not perfect. But you know what? That is okay. I'm going to get the other one knocked out and I'll come see you when they're both finished. And we'll just test these suckers out. I love it when a good plan comes together. Now, well, you know, the plan could have come together a little bit easier for just two reasons. Overall, though, super satisfied with what we accomplished today in this video. We've got two blocks. I've already tested them, and they work just as they should. Now, what would I do differently? I wish I had a circular saw. That would have made things a lot easier and a lot cleaner and to probably using some fresh two by fours as opposed to the pallet would have been a little bit better as well, but you know how I do things here uh, on a budget. So we're still gonna get the functionality we're looking for. So without further ado, let's show you what they're all about. All right, folks, pretty simple to use. Just position one block behind each of the wheels. Lift up on your drive roller. Pull up on the handles and roll them over back on the blocks until it rests nicely in the center up off the ground. And just that little bit up off the ground is going to make it so much easier for us to service this thing. Yeah, I lost my sticker already on the side. It got snagged on one of the electrical boxes in the back lawn. I'll have to replace it with something. Maybe find another California trimmer sticker or Maybe some budget lawn stickers, who knows? But anyways, the reason why you want this off the ground is because when the reel spins, so does the drive roller in the back. When you're doing your paper test to check your reel to bed knife, this just keeps it from trying to move around on you and makes that little task just a little bit easier. And if you ask me, making anything a little bit easier is always worth it. So a fun little project in the garage today while we had this kind of dreary, rainy, cool weather and couldn't do any lawn work. If you got a California trimmer and you decide to do this, let me know. Tell me what you think. I hope this will help you out. But that's all we've got today. I hope I see you next time.